In July 1943, Sir Harry Oakes, widely regarded as the richest man in the British Empire, was bludgeoned to death in his Bohemian mansion and his body set on fire. What followed was a catalogue of errors and judgment calls, which to this day leaves doubt over the identity of Oakes' attacker. The governor of the Bahamas was the Duke of Windsor, the former King of England, who decided that the case should be dealt with by American detectives rather than rely on the local police force. American officers were flown to the island who failed to properly secure and examine the scene and turned their attention on Oakes' son-in-law, Freddie de Marigny, with whom Oakes had had a fractious relationship. There were several indications that he was the man responsible, but a contentious finding of a fingerprint at the murder scene was enough to cast doubt on the integrity of the investigation and de Marigny was acquitted. Many rumours have developed since about the identity of the killer though there is little evidence to support any of them. Listen in and see what conclusions you draw. <laughs>